Don't worry, I'll keep it. Welcome back. We're the bourbon junkies. <laughs> He's Dan. I'm Sean. And uh, you got to see the gun show. Today. <laughs> Besides these guns, we're going to... No, that's going to get us demonetized. <laughs> we're Will it Blacken. <laughs> no, it's not. Will it Wes Henderson. Blacken. Blacken was the last one. Blacken. I'm so not... You said Will it Blacken. Oh. I said Wes Henderson. Will it? Dude, we're idiots. Isn't this Willet? No. So the last one was a Willet collab. This is a second collab. Who f***ing did it? Blackened. The Metallica band. They have their own distillery? Oh my gosh. Holy moly. This all has... Oh my gosh. So Blackened started with Rye from... This is great. I somehow know a little history on Buddy, this. I thought the, the Willet x Blackened thing was, was blackened. by Willet. <laughs> Oh, are you serious? Yeah. Oh, no. Okay, so Black can start with a rye. That was okay. supposedly from like Whistlepig. It was like Alberta or something. All right. They recently did a collab that you and I tasted but don't own. Yeah. That was the Willet one. That's yep. the one you're thinking in your brain. Okay, yeah. Blacken's owned by the band Metallica. Oh, okay. They have a distillery. Blacken has done their second collab. Well. With Wes Henderson from Angel's Envy. So, this. Blacken was a, a, a Willet collaboration. Well. By Willet. Okay. If I was, if I were to With give you Metallica. credit for not being an idiot, yeah. right? If I were to give you credit, it's because we've never owned a Blackened product. No. We've drank them, but we've never... Didn't realize Blackened was the, was the, the brand. brand. Yeah. And Willet was the collaboration. So I believe, and somebody can fact check me on this. Hmm. I do... Okay. What? <laughs> Don't say... <laughs> I do believe <laughs> hmm. that these are um, vibrated with sounds all the age. Hmm. That would be the correct place for the hmm. <laughs> mm. So I think that's Blacken's thing. That's their. That's the the gist of it. That's their shtick. White the, port wine finished. This is bourbon and white port wine, which is weird because that's a lot like Angel's normal product. Bottle that cast drink. Yeah, they're it, like, where'd you? Uh, hey Wes, where'd you get the idea to do that? Oh, just came to me. Wes, like I don't know, man. I made a kajillion dollars selling bourbon finished in port barrels now. So smells good, real fruity. I thought that Wes's son was taking over. Man, angels. Why is it the proof on that? One fifteen. It feels proofy. I don't know why. One sixteen point two. It is I, cast uh, strength, like actual cast strength. I coated the glass, but yeah. uh, a lot of ethanol can, seems to be coming off. Or... I don't know the base product in here. Like I don't know where the bourbon's yeah. from. That's the thing. I'd be hyper interested to know because I get a ton of cinnamon, and I don't know if this Willet thing's placebo because <laughs> you said Willet, but. They obviously have a relationship with Willet. Oh, I bet that's young. Well, so with the Willet one, the whiskey was Willet, right? That yeah. was the collab. With this one, the whiskey has to be from Angels, right? Maybe. Well, Angels sources slash contract distills, but nobody knows where from. This just says so, bottled by Sweet Ambler. So in Columbus, Ohio. I don't know if this means the bourbon is from them or Wes finished it for them. I don't know. Yeah. It also says forged by sound on the back. Yeah, dude. Um, the rock and roll. Have you tasted it yet? Once. <sighs> the other day just to let it open up. Little sharp. Now. Little, <laughs> little sharp. Yeah. Uh, mid palate feels like real youthy and it cuts into my, my tongue. Oh. That has a. It's a weird nutty note too. And I think it's the and youth. A mint. What's that? Ooh. Like a leaf mint, not like a, like a fake mint, not Andy's. Experiment? But the leaf. The actual you mint? chewed on it. Like a mojito mint? Like when people found out that they were, went back when people were eating green stuff off the land. They took that one leaf, they bit it, and they're like, well, that's a weird flavor. It's cooling. That's the mint. You don't like it at all? Uh, I need to get over that note. A little acclimation period on yeah, it? Yeah, I'm thinking we're going to go back for a second try. It smells good, but now that I've had it, I smell that like I smell what you're talking that about. youthy, yes. like raw wood. It's a little bit of hay. I smell what you said that you got in the palate, but I didn't get it in the palate a bunch. So. I do now, and it's like a dry almond note. I keep getting because mm -hmm. it's waxy. Is that the finish though? Is that the finish or the bourbon? I would drink that and think it's a Knob Creek product. Oh, I give you that a hundred percent actually. Like, but it is it, it's sweeter. Got some, it definitely has some sweetness in the back end. I get some of that finish, but I do get some of the cinnamon. That, that dry almond note sticks around. 
I get a ah, man. Here's the thing I like I'm that. Trying to I get actually that do, mintiness. I do like this. It's like an it's like a menthol cooling note in the very back on the back of my tongue. It's just sitting resting there. I do like this, but I don't know when I would reach for it though. Yeah. $150. Well, so I, do, How much do you like it? I do believe MSRP is 100 I found out after I bought it. But give okay. or take, right? 15 Whatever. It's a wash Either way, cat. it's an expensive bottle. Yeah. You know what? Dude, you don't get like a... I know. It's like... Kodiak. Kodiak. What's the Kodiak 2? Like the, like, yeah. The uh, green this, one? Yeah. Yeah. Winter mint. It smells like that. I could see that. People think I chew because I got a fat bottom lip. Come to find out, I don't. But our friend did, so... All right. This is what it smells like. Man. I can't get over that waxy almond. Mm -hmm. Like, it, it feels so heavy on there for me now. Man, it just makes me... Oh, dude. I just I, think beam. I do wish that I knew more about the source of the bourbon. Beam. Because it'd be fun to... I, I, I feel like it tracks. It feels like if you took Maybe a beam turkey and threw it in a white port barrel. It is Celebrity Whiskey. Blackened is a celebrity brand. Now, Blackened does actually make really good whiskey around $60 to $80. Some of their cast strengths that are not like collab ones are like $60 to $80 and cast strength. And they're pretty great, actually. From a celebrity celebrity whiskey standpoint, Blackened does make some of the best. Okay. I'm, I'm going to get off of the, the thought I was on because it was a dark place. Um, <laughs> Would you say that it was black? Yeah, we've we've had good blackened products before. We've tried a couple and have liked them. I liked the Willet. I didn't uh, like the Willet. You a didn't lot. like it. I it liked it a lot. Yeah, so hot, hot baby. Came across hot. It was hot. Yeah, it was very warm. The but, but there's a black and cast strength that's actually great. I think it's like sixty bucks or seventy bucks. Um, I would probably personally buy the that one before I bought this one. Can I say what I like about the you just get a little mango in there, just to offset it? Um, yeah, drown it out, some would say. <laughs> Can I tell you what I like about this as a brand, though? Price tag? No. No, I don't love that part, but that part is what it is. Um, what I do like about this as a brand is, like, from a celebrity whiskey standpoint, what they do differently is they treat this like a whiskey brand. Yes. Black and has cast ranks, and they have rise, and they have collabs. Well, they have a distillery. All Come of those, all just we like, we're like, dude, we source whiskey, which cash grabby. Yeah. Like send the send give us your money. We're talking about Conor McGregor. I like that. He's innovating. He's got that new thing. The Apple one, the Apple Proper Twelve. I don't want. That. If we can find a bottle of that, there will be on this channel. Oh, please don't. Make if I find one, it. it'll be on this channel. He's gonna come punch us both in the face. He'll beat the shit out of me. Okay, great on this. Packaging's really solid. D. What's your grade on the whiskey? What? D. D. What? I don't. I don't have any redeeming qualities for this. Can I tell you what you do like that is? Beam and port finished, I believe, is that boat bottle that uh, Austin Hubbard sent us. Yeah. That's 200 bucks. Yeah. That's actually really good. That's amazing, though. So this can't be beam because that's great. That doesn't mean it's the same, though. <laughs> but that doesn't have any of the waxy. finishing time. It could be different barrels. <sighs> Cooperage is going to be huge there. They're, I mean, they could have any different number of different uh, port barrels. Doesn't beam have their own Cooperage? I think so. Jack and Beam, I thought both did. I think so. so old um, but, I mean, those would be sourced, though. They wouldn't have made sure. their own barrels for that. They'd be sourcing mm. those barrels. I'm going to go C. Solid C. I Wouldn't buy it again. Not insanely happy that I bought it, it once. Um, I tried mean, it at a bar? It's $115. I don't think it's very balanced. You know what I'd like to know? If this I, is a burr rye. It says bourbon, though. Damn it. Yeah. I just, get, I just get one note on there, and I think that's what I'm equating that mint to. I think there's something in there that makes me think that. I think you equate it to wax, and I'm trying to find yeah, that out waxy. for it. Um, I've, I've got... I don't just... Listen, I really don't hate it. If this were like 60-ish, which I know it's a collab and it's cast strength, so that's really hard. Blacken isn't wildly overpriced usually, I don't feel I don't like. The Willet six. was expensive, I though. just don't like the whiskey. This is not a price tag issue for will. me. I don't, I don't the like the whiskey. All right. We're the brown junkies. Sorry. I, but there, some of the black and stuff's worth buying, is what I'll say. I'll give you that. Some of, some of it is. I really, nice. really did like that Willet one. I thought that one was super interesting. You just thought it was too hot. Just drank hot. Yeah. I think it was only like 118 proof. This feels so imbalanced. I like punchy whiskey, though, and you don't. Like, that's just the thing. That's like yeah. the thing we don't agree on all the time. But it just punched me in the face. It mm -hmm. didn't give me 20 bucks after. It right. just was like, see you, bitch, I'm mm -hmm. out. That's fair. Fuck, man. I just don't know when I'll grab it. I don't know when I'll reach for it. I would share it with people for sure. Yeah. I mean, that's a bottle share bottle. That's a good bottle share bottle. 
people see that fancy ass price tag, you leave yeah. it on there. It's blackened, yeah. Masters of Whiskey Series. That's a cool whiskey series. The bottle's oh. beautiful, man. Holy fucking shit. What? 